November 3 Delta Fox, have this in the meantime, 2000. Down to 2000, 3 Delta Fox. Continuing our descent. Both sides identified, this one automatically, that one manually. Three for two, altitude select. Coast Guard helicopter below me. No doubt doing some practice. November A197 Papa, four miles from Berger. Turn left heading 340. Maintain 2000 till established on the final approach course. Cleared VR runway 31 approach. All right, left 340, 2000 till established. Uh, cleared approach, 910 Papa. 2.4 for 2. Fuel pumps are on. Back to the mains. Pressure's good. Back to the mains. Pressure's good. November 833, Delta Fox, turn left to the 040. Left 040, 3 Delta Fox. Keeping the power back. November 8197, Papa, are you established on the final? Uh, yes, we are, 97 Papa. 97 Papa, thank you. Contact the tire 120.3. All right, over to town, 97 Papa. November 833, Delta Fox, run 8 miles from Presti, turn left heading 330, maintain 2000 till established on the localizer, cleared ILS, runway 31 approach. Left 330, main two maintain 2000 till established on the localizer, clear for the ILS 31 approach for 3 Delta Fox, thank you. Do a little bit of pitch up because the analog doesn't do a great job when it starts slowing down. So bias it up. 330, we're clear for the approach. First season, six miles. I need to have everything set up on the autopilot for the automation. Two miles from Pristy, two miles from the final approach. Got a shadow for both the localizer and the glide slope. It's getting the signal, but neither one of them are active. Not close enough to be active yet. I'm at 2,000. I can descend to 1,700, but I'm not going to. I'm going to capture the glide slope from 2. Atlantic City Approach, good day. Mooney 6 Victor Whiskey, level 6,000. Mooney 6 Victor Whiskey, level I have to make sure good morning, that I do get it intercepted, so I'm going to bias it. Another 5 right. Four, six Victor Whiskey. Localizer's alive. That's the key for the localizer. I gotta get centered on the localizer, get the heading bug set up before I can switch to localizer norm, which has to be activated before the glide slope will engage. Same thing the dash does, it's just manual. I'm using my drift bug on the aspen as a good predictor. Um, still four miles out, so I got some time. Twin Command to 833 Delta Fox, truck contact the tower 120.3. Over to tower 120.3, 3 Delta Fox, talk to you soon. That's slowing it down, down to 16. Tower Twin Command to 833 Delta Fox, inbound ILS 31 for the low approach. Twin Comanche 833 Delta Fox Drive, Atlantic City Tower, winds uh, 
Zero one zero at nine or runway three one clear for the option on the go. Flower runway heading maintain two thousand. Runway heading two thousand on the go. Clear for the option for three Delta Fox. Thank you, sir. Fly slips alive. Airspeed's coming down nicely. You'll see when it captures a glide slope, it'll push it down. You'll see me accelerate, basically do an S-turn. Uh, you just have to manage power around that. You're not going to get much better than that. The key here is if your hands are really full, you can allow that, that bias without even trying to correct it. It'll get you down safe. 130 is good for the automation. 120 miles per hour is good. Line it by hand. There's one dot. It down in the white arc. Drop it down. Don't want to get too slow. Quad slope should capture here shortly if I've done everything right. And so there it goes. Immediately bring the power back. Was that bias down below the quad slope? Runway heading, maintain 2000. I'm going to accelerate you. Runway heading, 2000. Drops to 25. I am clear for the approach. Yes. Yes. Undercarriage, undercarriage. Mixture. Props to go. Switches. Switches at the field. Airspeed's looking good. I'm on the glide slope. Slightly below the glide slope. 1700. I'm going to start my time. Sixteen hundred for two sixty-four. It's all back glide slope. See I'm starting to get slow. I'm at 121. And if that happens, I'll start to do this. That's your warning. You're getting too slow. 1500 for 264. Airspeed's coming back. I'll bring the power, reduce the power. To about 17. I'll probably need a little bit less than that once I'm stabilized. Traffic left and right looks good. Get a little fast. 1300 now. Disconnect the autopilot typically. No, not typically, all the time, 500 feet. Get a little fast still, mm -hmm. bringing it back. One thirty is my target. Here's out. A little left rudder. Try 15 for the stable power setting for today. Go on the glide slope. 900 feet. Finally got it squared away. On altitude, 15 is doing it for today. 800 feet for 264. On glide slope, on localizer. And bias this a little bit more to the right. Heading input matters. Airspeed's good. 700, 264. 500. 500 feet. Disconnect the autopilot. Autopilot's off. Put that back to heading for later for the missed approach. I can start slowing down. Five hundred for two sixty-four. I have the airplane. Airspeed's good. A little bit of glide slope, correcting. Three fifty, two sixty-four. We'll go twenty-five squared. Power. Cram. Climb. Clean. Cool. Laps are up. Runway heading 2,000 feet. Five hundred feet. Twenty five square, we're already there. Three out the fox on the mist, runway heading to two thousand feet. Three Delta Fox truck. Uh, Flower on the heading, maintain 2000. Contact departure on 
You got it. Departure 124.6, read out the Fox. Pitch over for 130. Atlantic City Twin Comanche 833, Delta Fox on the miss, ILS 31. Twin Comanche 833, Delta Fox, at length of departure, radar contact maintain 2000, turn right, hitting 0, 9 or 0 vectors for the ILS runway 31, final approach course. Roger that, right, 0, 9, 0, up to 2000, vectors for ILS 31 for 3 Delta Fox, thank you. Get a nice standard rate turn. Fourteen for two. Sixteen for two. Put a right rudder. Boy, a prop sync would be nice. Zero nine zero. Bring it back to twenty two. And we'll put it in heading mode. I think we can just say activate vectors to final. Boom, done. Okay, we're going to leave it on the mains for now. And yep, we can uh, clean this mess up. The gear's up. I forget.